The story behind the death of the actor who played the Joker. On January 22, 2008, Heath Ledger shocked the world when he was found dead at the height of his 28 years, tragic news for movie lovers. The Australian was at the height of his acting career when he went into cardiac arrest in his New York City apartment due to an accidental overdose of prescription medication. However, even 15 years later, the reason for the artist's death still raises a lot of doubt among people. Although Heath Ledger's cause of death was accidental, the incident drew attention for one of the last roles Ledger played, the Joker in Christopher Nolan's Batman, The Dark Knight. Rumors at the time suggested that playing the Joker, an iconic villain and sociopath, would have affected the actor's psychological state. These rumors were contradicted with the arrival of a documentary about Ledger, where several family members, like his sister, stated that the star was having fun with the role and not getting depressed. But there is some contradiction in this, since, in an interview with the New York Times, Heath revealed that bringing the villain to life was physically and mentally exhausting, getting to sleep only two hours a day. In another interview in 2007, this time with Empire, the actor revealed, it's a combination of reading every comic book I could that was relevant to the script and then just closing my eyes and mulling it over. I sat in a hotel room in London for about a month, I locked myself in, kept a little diary and tried out voices. It was important to try to find a somewhat iconic voice and laugh. I ended up falling more into the realm of a psychopath, someone with very little or no awareness of their actions. He's just an absolute sociopath, a cold-blooded, mass-murdering clown. Leaving the theories involving the film and going to the official investigation, some doubts arose. Ledger's masseuse was the one who found the actor unconscious and called actress Mary-Kate Olsen, a close friend of the actor. The actress was thought to be responsible for providing the drugs that killed him and suspicion increased when she refused to cooperate with the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, during investigations. Despite tabloid speculation, Mary-Kate Olsen had absolutely nothing to do with the drugs found at Heath Ledger's home or on his body, and she does not know where he obtained them, said the actress attorney, Michael C. Miller. Prosecutors stated that there was no evidence that the actress provided the victim with painkillers, while the other drugs had been legally prescribed. To this day, his death divides opinions and draws public attention, whether because of his promising and young actor, or because of his iconic role as the Joker.